and purpose seems to be kind of a uh, duh kind of factor. Value. Yeah. Or money. Or money. Yeah. Continuous learning. Yeah. Um, and I still really, really love the uh, there is no mastery without yeah. the squiggly under the S. The influence of emotion is more powerful than rationality and logic. Acknowledging the... You could come up here and copy it down. <laughs> oh, not yeah. for the, right. for the, for the parts. Right. And I think that works at any container level, right? right? Whether it be, you know, an or and we see this in organizations, right, where, you know, development optimizes for development and, you know, so and so right, yeah. op the marketing optimizes for marketing and sales optimizes for sales, but as an organization, yeah. they are totally failing. Right. Yeah. Um, what, what he said, what Derek is saying is that um, we were talking about that not just as a concept that's kind of nice to have, but that given how important these issues are, that that's, that's what we need to do at a societal level. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's just been so fabulous the last 10 years or so. Just, God, whatever's going to be there is going to be great. I don't know what it is, but it'll be great. And it always is. <laughs> I'm going to think a lot more about uh, kind of gift economy in my own life, and I might want to write something about that. Um, and that in combination with the idea of a container or a context and that it's not done in, out in a context, but the example of Gangplank is a location where you do that, and that is an investment in a community, that it's contained within a space, and that you know the natural laws of that social context provide the, the mechanism for that to actually work. Look back on these discussions to think about what of this we really want to be incorporating as we continue to move forward. Mm -hmm. We're bringing in, we've got staff now that we didn't have the first time around that we chartered. And, and um, so and, and so we're going to share it with them, too. And uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that a lot. I'm incredibly lucky in that my purpose is as fulfilling as possible. Um, so I focus on changing how the world thinks about personal responsibility and the business around that, and I focus on my family, and I focus on my own mental and physical health. Um, and I like to say that I spent the first 40 years of my life looking for a purpose, and then it found me, and I resisted it for five or 10 years. And now that I've accepted it, it's really fabulous. So to take any new commitments out of here needs to fold into that. And the way it's going to fold into that is that um, I have found a way to be in complete integrity around my consulting work. Uh, I've gone on record to say stop working for jerks. Uh, I don't work for jerks. I don't work for Executive A that wants me to change Group B. Um, I work for a buck stops here executive that wants to master what I've spent 20 years learning. Um, I will hold that for you and for this material and I will take what you've shared with me today and work to incorporate that in as well as I said earlier when I was standing over here I want to be able to I want to be able to point because I'm so focused on what I know and what I think is important that I want to be able to point to other people that have more ability to speak to these things than I have so that's important. Take some of these ideas and things that we talked about and talk about that with people that are outside of this um, world and, and see what, you know, maybe we're all crazy and uh, we don't have it. We think we know what we're talking about, but we don't. And uh, see how everyone else responds. So I think that's my, my next step. Well, uh, to me, it was a, a very exciting, exciting learning opportunity. Uh, now the next steps are, well, it seems that they have a lot of work to do. Uh, first, practicing all the items we discussed today, because uh, it is the work uh, I do, so uh, I need to perform all those items. And next, uh, I need to 
uh, chair this philosophy, uh, not only in my company, but beyond the company, in my, in my community, and in Mexico. Because uh, it is something totally new right there. No, not the philosophies, but everything together. So my challenge now is uh, spread this, this knowledge uh, to the universities, to the other companies, <coughs> And for sure, uh, somebody will think I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad to have now a, a support. Uh, so I am not alone. So it is also makes me happy. So. I'm going to be teaching this winter in an MBA program. And I, the class I was asked to teach was leadership. And they said, basically, I could do anything I wanted. and. Um, I've been, um, when I've taught before, uh, I mean, I've always taught around participatory management and that kind of stuff. But I think this time I'm going to be even more provocative because somehow that gives me a little bit more courage. Um, and mm, those poor MBA students, they're not going to know what hit them. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely want to continue to experiment with some of these uh, thoughts and ideas within my own company and uh, luckily I have a great team of people that I get to work with every day and we get to have great conversations about this crazy stuff. We at least don't think that each other are crazy so we, can, <laughs> we have some solace in that. Um, but really I'd, I've set a great many things in motion in my life uh, either with Derek or in, in my uh, other parts of my life and uh, I have I have the choice of when I can use my influence there and uh, I think it's I, I've kind of stayed in the background on a few things for a while and just kind of let them take their own course and I think it's time again to step forward and, and start to work towards making some more significant change there so I'm really looking forward to doing that